In this short video, I'm gonna teach you about your brand and how to create a smart pricing strategy. You have already created your brand in an earlier lesson in the Intelligent Sales Machine Training Program. We need to make sure that within your Amazon account, you've inputted your brand details correctly so it displays on the product listing. Then we wanna create two prices, a retail price and a sales price. As you can see, the list price, we call this the retail price, is shown as $44.99, but the price we call the sales price is $23.64. We can add these numbers in the product listing page inside Amazon's Seller Central. This pricing strategy works really well because you're showing the customer how much they are saving off the real retail price that they would have paid if they'd bought this in a store. In this case, they're saving 47%, which is very appealing. This pricing strategy works for the kinds of products that we're selling because they are more expensive in stores. We generally calculate the retail price at six times the FOB cost. We already know our sales price as it's the price we've estimated we're gonna sell for when we were ascertaining the profitability of the product in our Google spreadsheet. Now, we're not really estimating that anymore. We're pretty much settled on that price. To get the list price, or what we call the retail price, you take your FOB cost and you multiply it by six and round up to the nearest 99 cent price. For example, if you found that your calculation gave you an answer of, say, $14.26, you round that up to a retail price of $14.99. Let me give you another example. Let's say your FOB cost is $2. You would multiply that by six, which is $12 you then round it up to a retail price of $12.99. A word of caution, do not overdo this. It can really undermine the integrity of your offer, as I'm gonna show you. As you can see here, the savings are a ridiculous 113 pounds or 94% on this product. While this may be true, it looks a little too good to be true from the customer's perspective. This might help certain sellers achieve good results, but I tend to avoid these huge percentage savings as they don't look very convincing in my opinion. 